Dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to tell you something. Please watch video completely and sit with copy pen. And if you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. If you find anywhere some problems or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share, and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. This is the question. A glass capillary tube is of the shape of truncated cone with an apex angle alpha so that its two ends have cross sections of different radii. When dipped in water vertically, water rises in it to a height h, where the radius of its cross section is b. If the surface tension of water is S, its density is rho and its contact angle with glass is theta, the value of H will be. Here we have given four options. The first option 2S by B rho G cos theta minus alpha. Option B 2S by B rho G cos theta plus alpha. Option C 2S upon B rho G cos theta minus alpha by 2 and option D 2S by B rho G cos theta plus alpha by 2. And this question is asked JE advanced 2014. To solve this question, we are using the concept of rising water in capillary. Here, any capillary dipped in liquid or water, then liquid is rising up to the height of h. Why it is rising? Because it forms the meniscus con concave meniscus and due to this concave meniscus the pressure access at the point of C that is 2s by r. What is r? r is the radius of this meniscus and s surface tension and so therefore inside of the liquid let us consider this point is d here 2s by r the pressure decreases. As you know that in the Pascal's rule inside the liquid everywhere the pressure is equal but here the pressure is decreases and so therefore water flows from the outside to the inside of this capillary up to the balance or equilibrium of this pressure and this pressure is equal to h rho g. This concept we have using to solve this question. Now here is the truncated cone and this apex angle, what is apex angle? Apex angle means when let us consider this complete cone, the angle is formed, this angle is formed is called apex angle. Here apex angle is given that alpha and so therefore from the principal axis and the curvature line or slant line, this is angle is formed alpha by 2. Okay. So here this is alpha by 2. Draw a parallel line from the principal axis. Now, this alpha by 2. Now, this is also alpha by 2. Interior alternate angle. And this is the side of the truncated cone. And here, we have to draw a tangent from the meniscus. And this tangent and the solid part of this truncated cone is called angle of contact. You are very well, well known about that when meniscus of liquid and the solid part of the container or capillary, then the tangent and this solid part is called angle of contact. So therefore, this is called angle of contact. This is theta and alpha by 2, then vertically opposite, it is also alpha by 2. When we have to produce this tangent, then this is also vertically opposite angle. This is also theta. Here, let us consider this point O. This point is M. This point is considered N. Okay. Convenient for the calculation. And now, let us consider for some time this angle be X and this angle be Y. Okay. Now, we, you can see that this angle is 90 degree means x plus y equal to 90 degree and here theta alpha by 2 plus x theta 
alpha by 2 plus x is also 90 degree by comparing x plus y equal to theta plus alpha by 2 plus x x x cancel out then y equal to theta plus alpha by 2 means y what is y angle y equal to theta plus alpha by 2 clear now in triangle o m n cos y equal to base here base is b and radius is uh, uh, hypotenuse is r then r can be written as b by cos y okay as you know that here x is special h rho g is equal to 2s by r okay here s means surface tension here r is the radius h means height rho density and g acceleration due to gravity now substitute this value of r in this equation okay so now h rho g 2s upon what is the value of r b upon b upon cos y h rho g equal to 2s by b cos what is the value of y theta plus alpha by 2 we have theta plus alpha by 2 we have already find out the value okay so now transposing this rho and g and goes to the denominator of the right side 2s b rho g cos theta plus alpha by 2 now we can see that which option is correct now here h equal to 2 s b rho g cos theta plus alpha by 2 so here d option is correct i hope so you understood this question Thank you for staying till the end of the video and I remind you those who have not subscribed yet do it immediately by pressing bell icon. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.